What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to test this smart robot 2-in-1 so it mops and vacuums your home and it has this self-emptying dock and as we normally do with these tests we're going to put some debris on the floor we're going to test the mopping this one has a rotating mop on the back of course we have our remote control and our app another cool feature with this robot using the LiDAR system it will map your home as you can see here and with this model you can set different settings for each room for example you can set different section powers for each room and different water levels or no mopping at all in terms of the robot itself i just place it there under the desk pretty cool if you ask me there's an unboxing by the end of the video so stay tuned for that but you can see these touch buttons at the top currently it's charging so that's why it has green lights and if you rotate it you can see here the main brush two wheels material looks pretty steady and you can see here the rotating brush this will be the drop sensors all around you can also remove this for cleaning and this is where you put your mopping when you want to mop the floor after you finish mopping the floor you can remove it pretty easy all right so dust bin you pull your water there if you want to add some products i normally do i'm not sure if you ran if the manufacturer recommend it and this is where your rubbish will be bear in mind that you don't need to deal with that after the cleaning the robot returns home and all the debris from there will go into that at the front you'll see the bumper you see all the sensors and all the radars all around nice unit it's not too big the profile is not well less than three fingers it goes under the furniture quite easy and looking at the dock itself you got this gold effect there and the light saying yes power here you see your dustbin you got a flap to close when you remove it in terms of suction power this one 3000 pa of suction we're going to test it here in the studio so we got short pile there and we have thicker pile here and here we got hardwood floor yeah so we made a little bit of a mess make things a little bit interesting i placed some pots on the floor so we can see the obstacle avoidance feature of the robot let's start our test and we got two ways you can pr press on the remote play or on the app press start because of its carpet detection function it should boost the power when it detects carpet it's not too loud so what the robot is doing now is going to go all around the edge of this particular room and then it will go in the middle and it should do that s pattern It goes right on the edge of the unit there on the app you, you can see where the robot has been you can see the dock there Yeah, the obstacle avoidance is working as it should. Yeah, really good, guys. Yeah, we can see the two plants there. And is doing the S movement yeah guys if you look here so far well got some bits there another one there let's wait Yeah. 
so as you heard it finished the auto cleaning and now it will go back home for recharging yeah as you can see you got the uv light there on the robot auto empty the dust from the robot to the dock itself so far so good it was quite quick to be honest now let's have a look at the results one pass only and there's one little bit there by my foot small bit there on the longer pile there it missed a few little things we might need a second pass and on the hardwood it picked up the majority of it i think because this is very light yeah rice with the brush it did spread a little bit and on the edges is always a bit tricky nevertheless overall i'll let you guys be the judge i think yeah he did a good job but not completely let's do a second pass so you can set it to just this partition there go maximum power now let's have a look at the final result let's start on this side here i cannot find anything here which is very very good let me know if i'm missing something okay so here we got a few crumbs left very very tiny let me zoom in so it might be difficult for the robot there in here on the hardwood floor the rice remember it was right there but yeah guys look all gone yeah guys i'm happy with this apart from that little bit but it is what it is it did a nice job if you ask me uvc let's have a look oh yeah there's a light there look oh it's gone now all right should have a look at the dustbin empty so all the debris went there perfect of course you guys want to see if the robot will fall on the floor so let's test it here Hey guys as you can see the drop sensors do work so the app is very straightforward so you can see the map of your home first thing first at the bottom here you got different options mop partition which you can select which rooms you want to do if you select auto of course it will clean the whole home area you can select an area for example that square you can set it pass it two times please spot it creates a square and you can set a square whatever you want and then click start so very straightforward here you got different section power and if you install the mop you will see the same for the water flow you got a button here to rotate the map and one to do a manual emptying of the dustbin here on the top menus you can do some scheduling cleaning history and volume find my robot and light switch you can turn off the leds and that's basically it guys on the map setting you can merge partitions split partitions and set no-go zones don't know if you guys can tell but i already set two one there and one here because of some wires yeah guys no matter where you are in the world if the robot has internet you can send it to clean your home anytime pretty cool stuff you can also use the arrows on the remote to control the robot like so and of course you can send it home okay guys let's test the mopping system so we can set different levels of suction and now because we have the mopping installed we can set the water flow so all the way to the max we got the medium 
and the lowest so let's say all the way to the max and it will vacuum at the same time so you can set the power there according to the manufacturer the mob should vibrate to be honest guys i can tell that but in terms of rotation should rotate at 120 per minute you can definitely tell where the robot has been and as before is doing that s pattern back and forward while it's mopping the floor yeah guys you can tell the floor it's all wet i don't want to step on it because i'm wearing socks but let's try again we can tell where the robot has been and now my socks are wet all right so as i don't know if you heard but auto cleaning has finished so is now returning home for recharging the dock it's over the carpet so i'm not sure if it detects carpet i think it's gonna stop there and going anywhere yeah because it knows he has the mopping system on and it's trying to reach home there and it's detecting carpet so i think it's gonna struggle to go home it's gonna stay here forever till the end of time so be aware of that you cannot place the dock over carpet if you want to keep the mopping system on i normally remove the pads i just put it on when i need to do some mopping and that's fine so you can leave the dock whenever whatever you want i'm not sure how long it will take to understand there's no way to go to the dock there yeah finally it made it so he's going back home for recharge yeah guys time to wrap the video to be honest very good unit this ts1 from ultanic it does look cool he did the job as we ask for in terms of app very comprehensive and f the emptying dock there so you don't need to mess with dust anything like that in terms of the maps nothing to point out it creates the map quite easy using the lidar system and the 3000 pa of suction did the job on carpet quite well as well apart from those little bits i show you before on the video the mopping system having the two rotating mops i think is helpful it's much better than the pad if you ask me those normal pads yeah guys if you want me to test anything in particular please comment down below i'll try my best to test it for you if you enjoyed the video click the like button and please guys consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much for your support like always thank you very much for watching and hope i can see you all on the next one okay so we have a starting guide quick start guide So this is everything you get in the box, which is quite a lot. So we got one extra rotating brush. We got our standard remote control with batteries included. Of course, we have our dock with a pre-installed bag already in it. And this one has UV sterilizing. We have our power lead cleaning tool, some manuals, one extra filter. And of course, our robot. We got two extra mops in two extra packs.